Jenkins, who's uh, taken over for backup and recovery president uh, for the division data domain and all the variety of products. Welcome to theCUBE with David Floyer, analyst, co-founder at wikibon.org. I'm John Furrier with siliconangle.com. So let's just jump right in. Um, um, backup and recovery, a lot of changes have happened. Um, California, you've moved to California, yeah, and you've taken over as president. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of pressure, but California's laid back. Is it? Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, I love California. First of all, um, <laughs> compared to New England winters, it's much much nicer. We had a very nice winter in California this year, but um, you know, I, I think in anything we do, there's pressure all the time, and uh, you know, I, I think when you think about backup and recovery, it was formed when we bought Data Domain which was a hostile takeover. And when I flew out there for the uh, first day to meet uh, the data domain team, that's pressure. You've never met them before. You've invested over $2 billion in a business and you've never met the management team before. So right out of the gate, it was a little bit of a pressure cooker, but but we've, we've come through it pretty well. And Frank has moved on. Uh, yep. to went to a VC firm. The, went to Greylock. And then went to a new job as CEO, so he's cutting his teeth back into uh, another company. He's moved moved very quickly. I think he was at uh, Greylock for a couple of weeks when he yeah. realized he really liked being a CEO more than a venture capitalist and uh, uh, started last week at ServiceNow down in San Diego. So EMC World 2011 is about big data, cloud. Backup's a big part of that, and uh, we saw our, the big tape ball at the mega launch, <laughs> yeah. um, which we actually came in handy because when the Google Gmail failed, it was because of tape backup, and we had some handy photos of a big tape ball. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so tape backup's changing, but a lot of the, the virtualization technology, things like Flash are becoming more strategic, um, and big data is obviously a big trend that's the thermal in the marketplace. What's your view of what's happening right now in the marketplace from your perspective? You're leading the division. What's your vision? Well, you know, I, I think one of the beauties of, you know, Joe showed a slide today of the transformation and disruption in technology, and no matter what it's been from enterprise storage to, you know, it was virtualization and now, you know, cloud and big data, um, every one of those waves, you got to protect that information and information keeps growing, and he put up a slide that slowed, showed backup and recovery down at the bottom. It's a fundamental necessity to any, any customer's um, you know, operation. They've got to protect it. It's the lifeblood of their business. So for us, it's really keeping ahead of those trends, right? Understanding that shift when you know, we went from you know, direct attached into SAN and you know, storage started getting collected, now to virtualization, what in impact does that have on data protection? Uh, big data, when you're talking about huge files, huge data sets, what can you do to make that efficient uh, for protection, but what can you do to make well, it efficient to get new paradigms out there. Jim Bampos was on, he runs uh, the customer quality, yep. total customer experience, and you know he's in the internal big data business. Yeah. He's trying to figure out customer loyalty, social data. Uh, we heard him talk about reports going from hours to minutes, days to weeks, right. I and mean, weeks to days. Um, the backup business was old and slow. You put stuff out there, and <laughs> dedupe came along. Now things are happening faster. Um, what's the next big trend beyond you know the dedupes and, okay. and you know low, lower well, latency? Uh, I mean, put a, put a little more color in that. Well, you, you've got competitors like Symantec who are, are wanting to go to appliances or suggesting appliances are the way to go. Is uh, What's your strategy in that area? Is well, that, uh, we're going to talk a lot about this at the show, but you know, if you look at both Avamar and Data Domain, they're appliances, and they've been out there for you know, four plus years now, and we have our competitors actually coming towards it, I think acknowledging it, that you've got to have appliances. So Symantec, who had been a software-only approach, now is delivering appliances into the marketplace. And you know, we're going to talk about this. We, we feel you know, today for data protection, the appliance market is over a billion and a half dollars right now. We think it'll go up to three billion. Uh, by 2015, and I think it's, you're seeing the shift where it was backup software and tape. Now it's really almost equal uh, backup software and purpose-built backup appliances. Um, you know, appliances are giving uh, customers, you know, greater efficiency in their backups, but they're also giving them a way to enhance the recovery strategies that they never never could before. And if you think about tying that in with VMware, you know, how are you moving the, your, your protection data? How are you creating uh, multiple sites to recover from uh, to an existing, you know, uh, 
VM or to a new VM, there's, there's a whole bunch of new protection strategies that customers are trying to deploy. Appliances are a perfect, fast, affordable way for customers to get, get the benefit. And you know, we've been happy that someone like Symantec's coming in and validating that for us. And we feel like we're on our, you know, this is fourth generation of the Avamar hardware, sixth generation of Avamar. Data domain, you know, has been out for over four years. We're in a really good position from that David, standpoint. David, I was, I was talking to Tom Whelan uh, this morning. He's from Asperis Health. And uh, he was very excited about some of the new features, uh, particularly because that allowed him to use uh, his traditional uh, software, net, networker software, yeah. together with Avamar uh, in, in a multiple different ways. Is that uh, part of your strategy, is uh, blending these uh, approaches? Yeah, so, so today, we in our portfolio, we have five, actually have five products. We have Data Domain, Avamar, Networker, uh, Disk Library uh, for mainframe backups, and then DPA, which helps you manage report on your backups. Um, our customers always tell us, you know, it's great. You have five products that cover every use case. And then they say, hey, that stinks. You got five products. You know, can you make it simpler? And so if you think about technologies like Boost that we announced last year at EMC World, this year with uh, we announced that Avamar and Data Domain can now work together. It's this idea of bringing the portfolio together in a simple way for customers. And, and where you'll see us go, uh, long term is that uh, you know data domain will become the repository for all our uh, backups and data protection and you'll see and we're going to talk about this the key keynote Stephen Manley and I Avamar and Networker will continue to you'll see them blend and overlap in many ways whether it's the client side uh, what you're doing there it's VMware integration you'll see a lot of that overlap come together over time and and the pro the portfolio becomes simpler for customers to deploy we're trying to give them investment protection mm -hmm. right now though mm -hmm. which is you know if you bought data domain and you've bought Avamar guess what now now they can work, they work together, together. Uh, networker with mm. data domain, you got boost. It can work faster for you, so protect that investment. But uh, just looking ahead, if, if you s uh, heard Tom talk about his problems, the major problem is this backup window, yep. this traditional way of doing <laughs> things. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, he was, his was 18 hours, it went down to 12, and now it's down to four again. But I can see the look on his face is, he thinks it's going back up again. Right. So. Uh, what's the alternative to this? I mean, what about strategies which allow you to do backups in you know, on a, on a snapshot basis every 15 minutes. Are those part of your strategy? We're going to talk about this. It's a good lead in for the keynote and I won't give it all away, but you know, there's a lot of customers right now saying, hey, can I just use snapshots for backup? And, and you know, while there are some um, use cases where snapshots are good for data protection, uh, if you want file, you know, file level recoverability, if you uh, run out of storage with snapshots, how do you expand that pool to work in? You run into a lot of different uh, issues with uh, snapshots as an overall backup strategy. We actually think coming from where we're coming from, which is you know a backup application which gives you the cataloging and the detailed information you need on the files, along with the efficiency of dedupe, we'll get to a point where you'll get those benefits you want out of snapshots, you know, very quick, uh, maybe incremental you know, change data, but even faster recoverability down to a file level or down to a piece of data level that, that you want. So we're going to, in the keynote, show you, you know, the limitations of snapshots versus the approach we're taking. And I, I think we'll get customers uh, quicker to a better path for data protection. Okay, it sounds a little defensive because there are, you know, some people out there with quite good solutions and semantic. So well, we're uh, one sorry. of them. EMC's it's got great snapshot well, capability, yeah. so, so I, I, I actually you know, see it coming to, coming right. together. And we actually use, if you look at Avamar, it's it's got snapshot. You know, it's it's we have it in the product. So uh, not defensive. I think a merging of the things that people want when they use snapshots in a um, you know, backup framework or a data protection framework is what we're trying to give them. Right. And you know, I understand it's very slow to move these people because they're very, very uh, cautious I, about moving. You know, so. I think the other. This is what we see in the customer base all the time, and you may see this is you know what. When you think about job functions and job categories in a data protection world, you've got backup admins, right, who are 
used to working with backup software and, uh, and you know, on a daily a, basis, a, yeah, a tape yeah, or a, tape, yeah. a, a, a disk-based format to back up. Well, now you've got storage administrators who want to use snapshots, right, to protect that data. And then layer on top of it, I've got the VMware, VMware people, admins yeah. now who want to do who things want to do in the virtual environments. Yeah. And then throw on top yeah. of it, I got application owners, big data owners, and traditional database administrators who want real-time access to inter information and protection mm -hmm. strategies. And where it was very simple, you know, an application created some information. You know, the storage guy stored it and the backup guy protected it. They are all on a crash course right now. Isn't, it, isn't this a big time of inflection though? We, that, that, huge. That, that, that really there is an opportunity out here for some totally different ways of thinking about all of That's this? That's where we want to get offensive rather than defensive. We think we have light for well, these I was, people. I was, <laughs> I was thinking that you needed to be more aggressive yes. because if you aren't, there are yeah. a lot of people out there with yeah. some good ideas and out there. You'll, you'll hear this in the keynote. Yeah. We really talk about those four job descriptions what's happening between them, and how uh, our technology can help them all create a better uh, IT service level for the business. So, um, you know, again, I think bringing this portfolio together and simplifying data protection for the customer base, they're, they're asking for that. They're asking for help me, you know, do my job, um, you know, the way maybe I remembered it or the way I want it to go. Um, this is things we can provide to them, we think, with the portfolio. Sure. There's a lot of people coming after you. I mean, you know, the, the, the application vendors uh, want to come in and, for example, what about archive versus um, backup? I mean, they're, they're trying to split off the archive, reduce that problem of the backup that way. Yes, the and we, we view that as an opportunity. And, you know, I, I'd, I'd actually, start out by saying, you know, if you look traditionally at backup and data protection, it was a market that Symantec for a long time Just had it, a, yeah. you know, large market share and a relatively slow moving market. We think it's a dynamic market. That's why we formed the division. You know, we've been growing tremendously and we think we're taking a lot of share there. We think customers are seeing that change. On the archive side, we viewed that as another opportunity, an extension of backup and data protection. Uh, we announced uh, the DD Archiver in January. We had a great first quarter with it. And we see these customers, um, as we've deployed this, we've seen application owners working together with backup and storage administrators to say, why buy a separate environment to, to put this data? Why can, let's keep it all in one area. EJ, it, you were talking about um, it's a good thing the products us. kind of coming together, investment protection. How's the product market for you guys changing? I mean, um, appliances, is, is, is we're hearing a lot about appliances in other areas of EMC this week and uh, you know, around Hadoop, et cetera. Um, what appliance strategy works best for you guys? I mean, obviously it works in, in backup. Talk about the product market. Are they coming together? Is it going to be pure appliances? Well, I think, you know, we purpose look at- Purpose built, obviously it's yeah, working. Purpose built is working. It's growing uh, phenomenally fast. Both Avamar and Data Domain are enjoying high growth. Um, you know, we've looked at it and we will, for, for our, our business, you know, um, we have both today. We have them now talking to each other with the idea that data domain is really, uh, we think, the ultimate appliance for us for storing that data, for that protection data. And you know, we're going to continue to evolve uh, the data domain file system to be able to handle more workloads. Um, and we think there's great extensibility there for it. But appliances are a foundational element of what we do for our customers, and they like it. What about There's competition? Like, obviously, a lot of startups come out. We hear startups changing their strategies from primary storage to, you know, disaster recovery, which is essentially backup and recovery. So that's kind of an entry point for competition. Um, how do you continue to have that insurmountable lead that just keeps on growing? And obviously, you got Oracle out there with their approach, yeah. uh, in, their, in their category. So how do you? How well, do you I deal think, with competition? You know, again, we view it as a platform and we continue to extend the benefits customers get off of that appliance platform. So, you know, fundamentally, the differenti differentiating points are, you know, dedupe and how you do it, variable versus fixed. We think variable, we prove it every day in customers, has been a differentiator for us in terms of efficiency. Uh, replication, so now how do you take that platform and make it a DR platform and, and reduce the number of copies that you have out there and be able to recover quick quickly. 
Data domains had replication first to market as uh, multiple replication t topologies that you can deploy and, and work very well. And then you had archiving to it. So we continue to like expand the uses of the platforms for the customers and you know the data comes Starts do, do, moving do you think that, that uh, vision is the right one though going forward? Because if data, data domain was very successful by just coming in, solving one problem in the traditional backup mode. So if we, are, if we add on the fact that you want to go to 15 minutes as opposed to a day, you want to uh, include archive, you want to have applications, the ability for them to uh, provide their own capabilities. Isn't all of that going away from that uh, back it up once a day model to a very different model? You uh, know, can can I, data domain go that direction? Well, we or? continue to increase the scale and performance of every, you know, January was a new refresh of, of the DD line and greater performance and scalability. Sure. You know, yeah. our customers who we see here in the thousands keep yeah, telling yeah. us uh, but they push us too. I mean, they're you know they're never satisfied, and that's a good thing. And you know we have not reached the upper bounds there. They want us to continue to push the platform from that standpoint. But they're the ones who actually drove us into replication. They drove us into um, you know archiving capabilities in the platform, and um, you know this ability to simplify their environments and their protection strategy is really important to them. The complexity they face is incredible. I think, you know, it's another reason why you see converged infrastructure taking off. It's, you know, get me what I need in a more simpler package. And, um, you know, so I, I think I look at the data domain platform and it's it's a relatively young platform and I think it's got, uh, you know, a rich, rich uh, road in front of it. Uh, we've got, you know, great engineering prowess still you know, so, uh, yeah. delivering products to the marketplace. Um, this is the second refresh of that line uh, since we bought it in July of 2009. So they have really been, um, you know, pushing the pushing it hard, and and right. customers, you know, keep pushing us to Great. do it. So I, I feel really good about where we're at, and um, you know, again, I I think um, you know the others who are incumbents in this market maybe uh, are flipping and trying to to follow in our footsteps here. Cool. How's the uh, the cloud and big data theme resonating with you guys? Obviously, your business is, you know, some would argue mature, but you're still seeing massive growth yeah. that's changing. But how does cloud and big data impact you? Is it on the integration of the products? Is it additional management software? Um, I mean, you guys aren't really playing in the cloud big data. I mean, obviously big data, you're backing it up and recovering it, but how does the big data meets cloud theme affect your group? I, I think we probably have to do a better job of saying how we play in those because the, the beautiful thing is it's huge growth and in information that needs to be protected. So we do have a play. Um, you know, we, we vary from just the tactical, which is, you know, work with the VCE sales teams, find out where V-blocks go in, and guess what? We, we're going to back them up to, um, you know, what, and the driver for us really has been virtualization, right? I think uh, when you talk about customers having struggles, it's really as they've deployed 30% of their applications virtually, then 70 and 80, you know, backup, Windows shrink, your, um, you know, your window to do anything has just gone away and your processes blow up. And uh, that's been the entry point for us with technologies like Avamar to say, look, at th here's how we can, you know, uh, take an image backup very quickly. Here's how we can help you recover granularity very quickly so that you, you hit your uh, uptime that, that you want or your recovery levels. So, you know, we've been laser focused on virtualization and VMware. The nice thing is they're very close to us in Palo Alto. We're, we're in Santa Clara, so we have uh, you know, great working relationships and we do a lot with them there. But um, you know, virtualization, cloud, big data all mean big backups or big protection and we've got to help them you know, do that efficiently. It's like, a market, it's like you're in a market that just never peaks because yep. I don't think data is going to be going down. More data is like piling up every day. They have a little meter here in the, in the blogger lounge that says, as much, here's the data passing through the show. Yeah. Actually, we're contributing part <laughs> yes. of it with the broadcast here. Uh, well, thanks for coming on theCUBE, BJ. We appreciate it. Congratulations you on your, your new role. Um, got a great product group over there. Thank you. And a uh, growing market. Congratulations, David. Great insight. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming thanks on theCUBE.